And it winds up being one person's story is better than the other. And that keeps you rooted in your past. And that's not a good place to be. You're craving to know who you are and to find and actually see your own reflection in the mirror again. So what I do is help you move through that pain and through the fears around your divorce more quickly than if you do it alone. And my clients receive guidance to step into their power of choice and to learn how to focus on themselves again. And to get there, you've got to end that pity party, more in the loss of your marriage, more in the loss of the future that you thought you were going to have, and move forward with dignity to see how much better life is afterwards. I give them and you the tools to receive. I give them the tools and the community that they need to be able to get there and hold them accountable for the results they desire every step of the way. And as a result, my clients wind up finding themselves again, learning who they are and creating a beautiful life for themselves that they design. They're at peace, they have a renewed sense of energy, they feel so much more present and connected with their loved ones. And finally, gratitude is within grasp. They remember and feel what true joy is like as they are ready to embark on their next best chapter and actually set goals that are attainable and I get to see them reach them. Because you see, I believe that divorce can be an empowering experience that women go through to find their true identity and voice, to design a life that they love instead of feeling stuck in the one that they have. And I often work with divorced women who struggle with so much noise around what is next, around who it is that they are and how they're just gonna get through the next day. And they've typically lost a lot of hope and don't know when, at what point they're gonna find joy or love or peace again. And how do I know? Well, because that was me just a few years ago. And I will never forget the day I was driving home with my husband at the time from a couple's night out. It was 1145 at night and his phone rang five times from the same woman. And all of a sudden, I felt a punch in my gut that told me something was wrong. And tears started to stream down my face. And I started thinking, you know, we had been in therapy for so many years. And something always didn't feel right to me. And for the first time, I decided to trust my instinct instead of looking outward like I had been taught to do my whole life. 